Okay, the next technique we're going to be uh, teaching and going over is chucking but with bar chords. And you'll be happy to know it's a lot easier than chucking with open chords. Remember chucking with open chords? We were using the kind of flat of our palm to get that muted chuck on the downstroke mainly. And chucking with bar chords is a lot easier. We're actually going to be using our fret hand as kind of like what I call a vice or a clamp and just clamping it on and off the strings lightly coming off pressure to get the chucking sound. Just to show you the technique is um, we're going to just focus on this G major bar chord. Make sure you get all those notes to ring out. And um, what I want to do is we're going to just, in order to get the chucking sound with bar chords, all you do is you come off pressure. So like if you're squeezing this bar chord to play it, right, it's like a little squeeze, you're using that leverage. Now, just loosen your grip, come off, and you have a chuck. So easy. You see, but don't take your hand off the strings completely. You see how I'm just like loosening it? If I kind of show you my thumb on the other camera so you could see, here I'm squeezing, loosening, squeezing, loosening. But you notice my fingers do not come off the strings. Your fingers have to stay attached because if they start to come off the strings, you're gonna hear, you hear, you're gonna hear some open strings ringing. And like all the techniques, you know, this is gonna take a little while to get it to sound good. But you want to be able to go at it light, heavy. But if you take this G chord and just strum, let's just do this. Strum in straight eighth notes, like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's the strum we're going to practice. And then just do like a down, up, chuck, up. So we're going down, up, loosen pressure, back on pressure. Down, up, loosen, up. Right? Down, up, chuck, up. And just kind of just practice that. And the chuck, again, should be a strong accent that you go for. Down, up, chuck, up. Down, up, chuck, up. Down, up, loosen, up. Down, up, loosen. So you... Practice that. Now notice it's not this. See, I didn't go back to the pressure quick enough, and when I went to that next stroke, I was partially muting the strings. Down, up, full chuck, no, and you don't hear this on that chuck. See, I don't hear open strings ringing. And then when you come back to that upstroke, but back on that chord. So it's just a very, see again, look at that picture there on that tight camera. It's just a squeeze, loosen, squeeze, loosen, squeeze, loosen, tighten, or think of it as tighten, loosen pressure. See, this is like a C clamp, right? And you're squeezing for the bar chord and then slightly loosening, squeeze, loosen, but don't take your fingers off the strings. Down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up. Wham! Nice and strong, that accent, that rhythmic chucking should be strong. And then when you get good, start moving that around, just taking that G major, go to the fifth fret, to the A major, back to the G major, third fret, then to the F major, back to the G major. You know, start moving it around, but remember, you gotta get it in time. So if we do all three, G, A, Get on the fifth string root bar chord. Right underneath that G major, just bring that whole shape down. Is a C minor chord. Right? Same thing. Now remember that first finger has to mute that low E string. We're not playing the low E string. So we're gonna go. So just get that sounding good. And move it up a whole step to D minor. Back to that C minor. Back a whole step again. Flat minor. Um, and then 
take a known strum pattern like we did when we did it with open chords, like down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Let's go down, chuck, up, up, down, up, down, chuck, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, chuck, up, up, down, up, down. Notice that chuck, see that hand come off pressure, right? putting in more chucks. Again, this is the same kind of technique that we taught when we were chucking open chords, like down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So it'll be down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Right? And don't move that around at first. Obviously, get good at it just holding one chord. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down. Practice this with all your strum patterns, and it'll be an evolution, like... The great thing about chucking with bar chords is I'm catching those chucks on downstrokes and upstrokes, you know, and you can't do that with open chords to that quickness, right? Like if I was trying to chuck this, right, with an, I'm playing a bar chord G, you're probably saying, well, you're playing acoustic, why don't you play open G with that? Well, because I can't chuck that fast. To, See, I can't get it with the upstrokes as fast as you can get on that bar chord. That's why the bar chord chucking is important for certain progressions or for certain things you might want to try to do if you want to try to take this technique to the next level. And then, once you get a rhythm established, I'm just changing it around, but just practice holding one chord in whatever rhythm you could just keep that timing. ba da 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 pa 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 Pop. Sometimes it helps to say it. If you could say it, you could play it. G to a C to a D major. C major, D major, like a one, four, five. Really nice with bar chords using that chucking technique. So try different progressions just to practice this technique, you know, like a C sharp minor seven. To an F sharp minor. Just two chords, you know, like I always say, start off slow and then build from there. And like. And later on, like uh, we show you in the hammer on, you get some hammering those chords while you're chucking. Maybe instead of F sharp minor, play F sharp minor 7 or F sharp minor 9. this little cool bluesy thing, B flat seven, up here at the sixth fret to an E flat nine chord. So kind of like, so start with easy, staying on one chord and practice that chucking. Then start moving it around. This technique is just about that rhythmic squeezing. You know, you're squeezing that chord using that, that hand, that fret hand like a C clamp. Squeezing, off pressure, on pressure, off pressure, on pressure, off pressure. And doing that in a rhythmic pattern and it works so nice. It's endless what you can do um, once you have this technique down.
practice it slow, known strum patterns, one chord at a time, then start adding to it, adding more chords, more um, um, uh, different patterns, changing up the patterns, embellishments. So experiment and have fun and be creative. And then visit the lesson where we talk about taking bar chord chucking because you might have a progression that might have some open chords and bar chords in it, especially when you're on acoustic guitar, lots of open chords, and you want to be able to switch back and forth. And uh, that's what the next lesson will cover. Remember, you can do it. Put those guitars in your hands every day. We'll see you at the next lesson.